And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Do you have hot flushes <laughs> for flanges? Because oh. then you may be hot for a flanger, like this past effects flanger we're doing right now. See a doctor about that. Yes, consult a medical professional. Like us. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. <laughs> Dr. Alex. Do Dr. Al. And I'm Dr. Gabor. Hey, um, this is past effects hot for flanger, as you may have alluded to. With yes. That spiel. Yes, yes, so, the hot um, flushes. For the flanger. Uh, this is sent to us by Verly at Past Effects as well. Thank Verley, you. And thank you so much for sending to us. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. So Alex. What's up? What is the hot for flanger, you ask? Yep. Is it like an old MXR EVH kind of sound? How did you know? <laughs> yes, it is. So it's it is. It up. <laughs> yes. So it's based on the, and I'm going to read it off here. It's a modern day take on the 1970s MXR 117 Reticon SAD 1024 flanger. Catchy name, isn't it? Yes, made yeah. famous by Eddie Van Halen. Now, this uses uh, an MN3007 Bucket Brigade chip instead of the almost obsolete Reticon chip. I believe Past Effects have made some flangers called the Reticon flanger, which is actually has the actual chip in it. Uh, but they're quite obsolete. So this is using an uh, MN3007 chip instead. And a few extra features Yo. that we're going to get into. So to hear it, we're going through Moztronics Amp Switcher, OTS Mini 20 Head, and Two Notes Peter Captor X. And we've got some and guitars. Your reverb you hear from that is from that as well. That's Captor X does. Uh, it runs, should mention off the, from the start as well, it runs on 18 volts. Mm. Uh, for extra headroomness. Uh, this is also, this was an early version that was sent to us. I believe the actual version that you can buy now has another knob there, like another little switch there, uh, where you can go between positive and negative flanging. Uh, this one doesn't have that. Uh, one of the main differences also, it has a blend knob, which the original fl uh, flanger didn't have. It's true. And it has the Waldo switch, which changes the, and I will read it to you as well, it allows two different timing clock capac capacitance values to be selected. When an LFO is flashing red, uh, it's in its default frequency bandwidth uh, of its sweep. When a Waldo switch is enabled, so it's up, it goes to blue, uh, the frequency range is slightly higher and indicated by the LFO flashing blue adjusted test. Right on, okay. So it's slightly different width, and I think, of the flanger. Modulation, modulation with. Yeah, cool. So should we check it out now? Uh, let's just start off with the Waldo switch down. Yep. The blend is all the way up, which is what it uh, is on the original MXR flanger. Yep. Everything at twelve o'clock, and see what it sounds like. Do you want to start? Sure. Clean tone, Larivee, RS2. <laughs> Gotta say, for me, MXR flanges Yo. are some of my favorite flanges I've ever played. We did a video, I mean, totally unrelated, but we did the MXR micro flanger did a video up here. No bad setting on it. Yep. And same with this, to me, it just sounds good at every setting. Um, now, should we just, that's a pretty cool setting, sort of quite a slow sweep. Yeah. Uh, should we just now check the difference, the Waldo switch, just sure, to see yeah, what it does? It'd be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more subtle, yeah. It's just a different, slightly different sound to it. Should we speed it up to... I'll speed it up a bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it, yeah. A little bit more um, obvious. It's 
just different vo- two different voicings. Yeah. The red's more vocal. Yeah, Is yeah. That the right term. Well, you instantly did that. that. <laughs> it's like the wah face. Yeah. Wah face. Flanger face. Yeah, flanger. Um, yeah, something else to do. cool things you can do with this is you can get to that quite extreme sound but because it's got a blend you can bring it back and and have that extreme but with that that <laughs> so let's just try that you probably can't see it but at the moment it's it's, it's full i'm going to gradually go back to about 12 o'clock okay I do like the blend switch. I think that's good. It's interesting having blend in there. Okay, yeah. Let's try mm. that actually now. Can I've also got like um, sort of auto wire type thing. Almost, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got done here. You can't see it, but I'll, I'll put a photo up. I've got the BSIAB2 by Dazatronics. Let's, let's have. There's a video for it here, which is the Oops. brown sound in a box. And I thought it's a. See not a bye, dog. Uh, it's a EVH kind of thing. Mm. I thought brown sound, why not? Uh, let's now check this also out with that. So this is what it sounds like, just a brown sound. Which is a great sounding overdrive in its mm. own right. Now, I think having that blend switch, especially when you don't want to, to go completely insane. Because we're going to distortion into it. Distortion into it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's, yeah. let's just check out with a blend switch what it does, or blend knob. <laughs> So, so, forth. so you can have that the the, the flavour of the kind of yeah. really in your face flanger, but you bring a blend down, so it's it's kind of not as in your face. Let's quickly check I've, it out. I've never been a fan of like modulation with when soloing. Okay. Uh, both myself and also when I hear other players do it, you just uh, lose half the notes. Just, yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe you want so, to lose half the notes. Because they're all bad. The bad ones. Yeah, you play the bad ones on the dip of the module. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe the blend is here to uh, save the day. Most likely. So this now is the Vanda Caster, which is a parts guitar that I put together with an old Carvin, or it would now be called Kiesel Neck that I had lying around because I've worked for Carvin in Australia briefly. A Vanda Guitars uh, body, and uh, Dave at Vanda Guitars also painted the headstock matching for me. Uh, some fantastic Mr. Glynn's pickups. They're quite high output pickups. Uh, we've got the Cloud9 in the bridge and the Tui, T-U-I, in the neck. Uh, and the really, really awesome Vega tram. So let's try that out now. This is what it sounds like. Uh, unflanged and unbrown sounded. 
Let's just go that first and then I'll bring that in. Play like Van Halen, so I'm not even going to pretend, but. Sorry? What are you doing? You're welcome. I thought you were going to say something. No. Okay. <laughs> Who turned the game down? Just saying. Can you get, actually, the other thing, can you get that sort of police Can I just very quickly, okay. let me just very quickly, because I always find I like low tunings with oh, yeah. flanges. Yeah, sure. Uh, so this is the Do Master uh, with a uh, bagless guitar, aluminium neck. <laughs> he loves this bit. Uh, Vander Guitars body, uh, Descendant Vibrato, Mastery Bridge, Curtis Novak, Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, Herod or Justin Hermes uh, anodized, custom anodized pickguard, and string switch noise. <laughs> wiring. It takes a second when you go between the two. Mm. That it does like a little and then it does. <laughs>
It's cool. It's a nice sounding flanger. Um, with two quite different sounding... I mean, I can't quite put my finger on it, what it really does. Mm. But they're definitely two different sounding voices. I much prefer the Waldo one. Up? Yep. Sure. Waldo it is. Yeah, I found Waldo. We found him. Uh, He's there. Yeah, I just think <laughs> the, the voicing, like, I think it's wider, so it's less extreme. It feels like there's peaks and stuff going on with the, with the other one. original sort of spec one. Yeah. So... Cool. Well, that's the that's the hot for flange of a past effects. Once if, once again, big thank you to Verly at Past Effects yeah. for sending this out to us. Fun stuff. Uh, check out all. I'll put up a playlist with all the past effects stuff at the end of this video. Past effects. You fix, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging. This links below to Instagram, Facebook, podcast. Check them out if you got a second, and um, comments below. Mm -hmm. Think. Do you dig the flanger? flanger? Are you hot for this flanger? Yeah. Are you cold <laughs> for this flanger? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what he said. Uh, thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Playlist. Gotcha.